with this absolute unit. <laughs> hey, in this video, I'm going to get a shave this morning. Let's go. Anybody need? Mr. Goat. What's up? I haven't had a chance to grab some breakfast. On my way to get this haircut, I'm starving. Let's get some moping. Let's get some grilled pork real quick. Hi, my name is Kali. My name is Kali. My name is Kali. How is it? Oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. even see me in the shop. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry. Put these down on our way there and we'll be good to go until I can get back to make a proper breakfast. After I'm done, let's see. I might do some more filming on the way back because guys, the best part is the journey, not the destination, not to be cliche, but just a moment ago walking out of my village, all the different people, I want to show you guys all that. So if you're interested, let me know. For right now though, when I say I'm going to do something in a video, I want the video to be exactly that for you. No, no clickbait, nothing like that. You click on it, I tell you what I'm going to do, that's what we're gonna do. But, those little interactions with people along the way are the best part by far. So, if you're interested, again, write in the comments below. And uh, let's see, maybe I'll just do a walk and talk video walking around. I've already filmed some, but let's see if you're interested first. All right, got a little ways to go. I'm gonna eat. We're back. I have to show you, if you're not familiar with this grilled pork skewer, I used to live off of this every morning. Gave me some sticky rice. Five, seven, I don't know, I'd have a load of these. But, I haven't really eaten them much lately. Well, since I've been in Laos, that was a long time ago when I used to live on these. So let's have a try, because it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. And it is just as advertised. Spectacular. Yum, yum. I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of these. See you in a sec. Whoop. We have arrived. This is my barber I've been coming to. Oh, looks like he's busy. Maybe I'll come back in a second. Ooh, hon, hon. About to get a haircut, but in this video, I've stopped here to grab some food I've never tried yet. So, let's give it a shot. I don't even know what it's called, to be honest. Let's see. Okay, let's ask him. ไก่ตรงไหนเนาะอ่าบึ้งคือสุดแซ่บเนาะเอ่อเฮ็ดเองเนาะโอ้ยเฮ็ดเองใส่สูตรอย่างเนาะอ่าหมูสูตรหมู
like being a musical to me though. It probably is. I mean, I'm I'm sure it is. I've been to Vietnam. I lived in Vietnam, sorry. This is definitely Vietnamese food. But we're gonna see how it is lifestyle. Never had it. It doesn't look really familiar to me. Even for Vietnamese food, so let's watch her make it. This is cool. Wow. going through your head right now guys <laughs> drop a comment below tell me what you're thinking watching this I'm an amazement as always when it comes to food Everybody wants some. We got cars, motorcycles all lined up. I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna come back around this way. So I wanna look at the sauces. Hmm. Let's just have a peek here, sorry. Wow, we've got it. 15,000. So we're at 80 something cents. I'm going to give this a try here. But uh, maybe at the barber shop. It's time to officially get a haircut. Oh. Not a haircut, sorry. So, lady, hey. my hand would. Call Thai man. Yeah. <laughs> Thai. Thai with you or Thai. Thai like so so. No, woman so so. But Thai way. But Thai hey, not hear hear the language. But uh, hey, con you pun, ti som jai. Yeah. Yeah. Open no. Yeah.
แบบเฟอร์ร้ายเฟอร์ร้ายแล้วผมทำเฟอร์ไปใส่เฟอร์ไอ้ร้านแบบนี้เฟอร์มีเตเดินนั่งก่อนนั่งไงบอกว่าอะไรมันทำบ้างแต่ไรสิ่งนั้นตัวละเนาะแต่นั่นคือเด็กแต่ไรสิ่งนั้นตัวละเนาะสิ่งนั้นเราแล้วคุณสอนสาวเจ้าอยู่กีฬาเดือนมันคุณได้ทำผ่านมาธรรมดาเนาะมีสาวเลยขอบใจอะไรเด้อขอบใจขอบใจที่ให้เด้อ Okay What's the verdict We a yay or a nay I'm thinking Yay 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 Got a nice shave done. I gave him a little extra. He didn't even know. For letting, for letting me film. I know I could buy a razor here, but I did the math. And uh, razor, what, like 15, 20 bucks? It costs 80 cents for me to get a shave, and I quite enjoy it. Plus, I, I'm the type of person, even when I'm shaving, I can overthink that. I'm an overthinker and I can, I can sit there and be trying to line up my beard for 10, 15, 20 minutes for no reason. So to have him do it in five minutes is a huge time saver and I really enjoy it. So why not spend the money? In six months that I've been here, I get a shave once a week. I don't have a thick beard, so that's what. I, I don't even think I'm at the cost of a a buying an electric razor at this point, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Very happy. What do you guys think? We all right? Yeah, I think so. What time, man? This man sort sort me me sort young there. Ah, nam tan. Oh, sort nam tan. Man, me so di. The man of the era. Sort young. Maket. Maket. Oh, happy. Nam tan, nam maket. Maket. Sort maket. โอเคขอบใจอะไรกับมูยอบอกนี่แมนมูยอบอกแมนนี่อ่านี่ยอยอโอเคขอบใจแล้วล่ะ just confirming some of the ingredients we've got here but I'll introduce it all to you when we get back I thought I was gonna have a taste there at the barber shop but we've got a couple different sauces and things uh, of that nature so I think it'll be a lot easier to get home and do a proper introduction to this Vietnamese slash Lao snack by the way it's called Ban Kuan Ban Kuan and it cost how much was it? 15,000, I already told you. I'll see you soon. Welcome back. I've got, exact, I've got our Ban Kuan that I bought, just bought. And we're gonna do a little taste test here. But first, let me introduce all the bits and pieces. So here we have Here's the spicy sauce, and guys, I just tasted that. That is spicy and kind of vinegary taste. And then we have the sweet sauce I haven't opened yet. I mean, open it. The razor. Here we go. Get all that goodness in there. So that's probably one I'll be eating. This other one is very spicy and vinegary. Not my favorite style. I like spice, of course. Well, pet ball set. Not spicy, it's not good. I have spice in my breakfast every day. Anyhow, 
Look at that, that's beautiful. The presentation, we've got our bean sprouts. Here, this pork here. Uh, I really enjoy this type of pork. It's called muya. And what they do is they mix all the ingredients together. <clears throat> Your pork is ground up very, very, very fine. And then they mix it with some different ingredients and they put it in a banana leaf and they steam it. It's melt in your mouth. It's incredible. And then you have the fried shallots on here. So let's give this a taste. I'm excited. Let's see if I can set the camera up properly. Oh, maybe. Perhaps. And it comes with the lime, so we're going to go ahead and squeeze the lime on there. You can't go wrong with, you never can go wrong with some lime. I don't know if I've had this before. I know it's Vietnamese, I lived in Vietnam, I saw all kinds of stuff like this, but I mostly cooked at home in Vietnam because everything was so carb heavy. Right now, I've ate so healthy this last month, giving myself a lot of leeway with what I'm eating. Plus, I want to I wanna try a bunch of new stuff and show you guys. Let's get one of these in here. Wow. All right, which sauce are we going for? Sweet sauce with the, with the peanuts. Sweet sauce with the peanuts. Mmm. Oh. So yes, the wrap, there's a lot of wrap to it and not a whole lot in the inside. But the inside, that pork, one more taste because it's smoky. Mm, that's nice. The pork is nice and smoky, a little salty. The wrap is just like perfect, melt in your mouth. You have the crunchiness and the beans process. Let's do a, a, a money bite here. Mm. Nobody saw that. Money bite. Can we get a money bite? Let's get some of y'all. Some to a long. All together. Oh. The one thing though for Vietnamese food in this dish is it is very fresh. It has such a nice fresh flavor to it. Oh, it may lack the protein that I would like, but this is a nice snack. I would highly recommend trying. Any recommendations for where to get this done really well other than the free street food stall? Cause I, I'm always looking for the place that does it the best or has a interesting recipe. What do you guys think? Have you ever had this before? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna enjoy a couple more bites. I'm gonna make some eggs and lob. <laughs> like this guy never stops eating. I do. My mornings, I, I stuff myself and then we, we work out, you know? I'll see you guys in the next video. This is so good. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. I don't know, let's try actually one more bite with the spicy sauce just because we have to give it a shot. But I'm guessing it's not my thing. It's this vinegary, spicy sauce. Not for me, guys. I'm not a fan of that sauce. Do you like that sauce on here? Let me know. I thought I'd record a little bit just to share what I put together now. It took me a minute. I was so interested in making a good video for you guys. Uh, when I went to the barber shop and then I ran into this, this 
uh, bank one that I wanted to try, this food I wanted to try. And I didn't even put two and two together, but Ban Quan that I read in Lao is actually Ban Quan in Vietnamese. Now my Vietnamese is not good guys, which is one of my biggest regrets from, I live there and it's, it's not any good at all. So I can't tell you that's a perfect pronunciation, but it is 100% Vietnamese food, no question. And just another reason why Lao is amazing guys. It's a melting pot of languages, a melting pot of food. You're always finding something new to try. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and join me in the next one.